Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jiz here. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. I am starting off my back to school series of this year with this video. I wanted to just put out something super simple to follow along for an everyday basis to wear to school makeup wise. This is personally something that I would do on the days that I actually have the energy, have the time to put something on my face. On a normal day basis going to school, I really don't wear makeup, but on those days that I might have presentation days or the first day of school, this is something that I would do very quickly in the morning and go out the door. Like I said, this is beginning my back to school series on my channel. I'm putting out at least two more videos that are set in stone. One is a follow me around while I shop for my back to school essentials and then the other one is my third annual back to school giveaway so definitely stay tuned for those videos after my skin is prepped and primed that's cleansing the skin moisturizing the skin applying any sort of treatments you do in the morning or sunscreen stuff like that after all that is done with and out of the way the next step i do is grab my favorite concealer and spot conceal so that's basically just the areas where i feel like i would need a little bit more coverage a little bit more help usually it's for me under the eyes and then certain acne spots that i may have that day my favorite concealer which i've mentioned plenty of times here on my channel before is the ColourPop no filter concealer and i am currently in the shade medium dark 36 and I just apply it under the eyes. I apply it on some spots that I may want to conceal a little bit around the nose and right here. And I just simply blend it out with either a brush or realistically with my fingers when I'm on the go. So when it comes to like wearing makeup for school, whether or not I have like a presentation that day and I'm going up in front of the class and want to look a little bit put together, this is what I typically do. Nothing too fancy, nothing too complex. It's just making the skin evened out, making sure that I look a little bit more awake and more alive. So after blending that out and after I feel like I spot concealed all the spots that I would like to, make sure the under eyes look a little bit brighter, I go in with a small brush. Right now I'm taking a very affordable e.l.f. brush called the Blush Brush. And I dip that into my translucent powder. I use the Laura Mercier one, but any translucent powder or any face powder that you have will work as well. I dip my brush into some of that powder, dust off most of it, and just basically lightly coat my face with some powder. Even the spots that I did not conceal because your girl has oily skin and definitely needs to be powdered down. Alright, so for the brows, uh, I'm going in with my, my ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade Dark Brown. Towards the front of the brow, I make sure to always just use a light hand and just start making light strokes. And then as I get further deeper to the end of my brow, make sure to apply a little bit more pressure to, you know, darken up the brow. Fill in the sparse spots. I'm going to speed through this next brow and I'll be right back. Brows are done. The next step that I would normally do is apply something on my eyes. What I normally do for the eyes is just stick to one single shadow. And what I've been doing most recently is grabbing the same bronzer that I'm going to be using on my face and just running some of that bronzer into the crease and just all over the eye. I'm using the Fenty Beauty one. Hey guys, in this shade. I just take a fluffy eye brush, which this one is the fluffy eye blender brush from e.l.f. I take some of my bronzer, just apply it everywhere, honestly. See how that just adds some color, some life to the eyelids, nothing too fancy, but it makes it look like you tried a little more than just leaving your eyelids just blank. So, continuing bronzing up the skin with this bronzer I just you know apply some and just warm up the skin Hit the forehead real quick the cheekbones next thing I do is blush and I'm using a new one today ColourPop Super Shock blush 
in the shade Growth Flirt. And that's pretty. I feel like I'm dipping into it, but nothing's coming out. But the color is definitely there. It doesn't look like it's coming off on my brush, but it definitely is. So it's right there. After I'm bronzed and all blushed up, I go in with my eyelash curler and my mascara. We're gonna have mascara on both eyes in three, two. After I apply my mascara, all that's left to do is apply some chapstick or lip gloss, whatever I'm feeling that day. Today, I'm gonna apply some, some chapstick. And then on top of that, I'm going to be applying my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. And that is it, guys. Um, if you've made it this far, be sure to comment letting me know down below that you did. And let me know what grade you're going into, whether if that's some grade in elementary school, middle school, high school, college. Personally, I'm going into my third year of college, so super, super... Uh, a little overwhelmed about that, but we gonna get through it. Join me on my journey if you'd like by clicking that red button down below. Subscribe to my channel. That would really, really help me out. And yeah, with that being said, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.